Hi, this is Ryan Bilbo, GIS Manager at the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals. This is a two and a half minute demonstration of how GIS software and health data can help focus health care. The three key components are software, health data, and reference data. ESRI's ArcGIS for desktop software, approximately 33,000 geomasked earth records, and a geocoding data set that converts addresses into points on a map. To preserve confidentiality, the birth points that you are about to see are no longer in their original geocoded location. Our goal? Quantify and visualize hotspots of poor birth outcomes using infants' birth weight and mother's residential addresses near Shreveport, Louisiana. The result can inform interventions and further research. Each point is color coded blue, white, and red, indicating high, average, and low birth weight, respectively. Trends are not readily visible. What if we could calculate the average birth weight of nearest neighbors at each of these 33,000 points. We did just that. The result? A crystal clear picture of the spatial patterns of birth weight. Finally, we will generalize the points to produce a continuous surface, much like a topographical map. The low birth weight rate, or percent of infants born under 5.5 pounds, during this period was 8.5% nationally and 10.5% for the state. We can test our results by selecting from original data in a hotspot. Here we've selected 100 births. 34 were low birth weight births. A 34% low birth weight rate is four times the national average. This hypothetical cluster is a preventable health disaster, and it is not alone. Clusters like this do exist in the original data. This method has general applications to all health data. Strokes, heart attacks, premature death, and more. In combination with other sources of data, we can now answer pressing questions. How do environmental factors affect birth outcomes? How do birth outcomes predict future rates of obesity? Research indicates that the two are linked. Now, we can predict outcomes in time and space. This data can also be disseminated over multiple devices, such as smartphones. The Healthy Start office in New Orleans is currently using this method to inform interventions and has changed their areas of focus based on results like these. This is only the beginning and will continue to shape healthcare in Louisiana. This concludes the demonstration. Thanks for watching.